How could you be? You experiment with waking up in the morning. Let's, you forget who you're talking to here? I know who I'm talking to, damn it. Oh, well, guess what? We're live. We're the table, you love if that doesn't get rid of the riffraff right up on the beginning, nothing will. Oh, man. I hate yeah, when that happens. We are, we are shooting for perfection. Well, yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm trying our to... Aim is crooked, but our sats are crooked. Oh, well, I'm I'm adjusting the volume, and, and yours doesn't seem like it's very... But that could just be... Yeah. No, it's you. It never... It always... Yours is always way higher than mine. Oh. When I play playback i have to listen to it real loud because i hear you loud but i hear me like like a little mouse in the corner squeaking waiting for the woman to shut him up and walk over him ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, i just wanted to be one of those magtow guys for a second see what it was like don't uh. do it it sucks oh really okay Fuck. Are you kidding? Life yeah. without women? Good well, God, you'd have to get a vibrator that speaks Yiddish or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're yeah, on the dork table right now. so. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and salutations, dorks yes. and dorks and dorkland. <laughs> oh, Take it away, Miss Mary. Just a sec, I'm reminding us over on minds. <laughs> oh, she's reminding the mind. Oh, there you go. There's another piece of work, minds. Yep. Wow. Mostly just a bunch of the same old shit. Status people looking for uh, confirmation that they're on the right side. And they know that by the amount of numbers of people that like their bullshit. Uh, well, hmm, ha, uh, hmm. I know, but I still say Mr. and Mrs. Trump can both kiss my lily white butt cheeks. I don't like either of them. Wouldn't want them in my house for coffee. Thank you. Well, okay. That's that's just peachy. <laughs> I know, but I've invited them six times and they never respond. So, ah, oh, fuck them. I'm at it with them. <laughs> wow. See how you are. Gosh darn, you just don't give anybody a chance, do you? Yeah. Not a second one, at least. No, no, we're we're not in the second chance business here at Flashco. At Flashco, our motto is "Do it right or get the fuck out." <laughs> ah, I don't, I don't know. I'm I don't stalling know. Cause you're not saying hello to all the RLM people that well, come to hear us bullshit every Saturday when they're bored. Because I'm retweeting too. Wow, <laughs> no, this. Good Lord. You know all those things, they, they lead to really bad habits. Yes, like they do. regular employment, voting, driver's licenses, insurance, you know, all that trap shit that you people yeah. just fucking love. I don't want any of it. Yeah. You know that insurance is like betting against yourself? Who does that? Insurers. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Shit, just... Bet it all in the fucking red on 18 red and see what happens. Same damn thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just the insurance company takes it a little slower from you than the the casino will. Oh, okay. Well. Have I stalled enough? I don't know. Yes, you yes, you have. Yet? I've tweeted out. I've done it on Minds. I didn't put it on Fakey Book because I just flat ass uh, didn't get it put on Fakey Book. And and I, I think Grim probably put it over on Freedoms Network. But hi, everybody. You're listening to the Dork Table <laughs> with Dork Flash and Hello. Dorky Grams. Lee. Hello, and, uh, Hello, Mr. Dork. Hello, Mr. Dork. Um, yeah. Twitter. Do Dun, 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 dun. I'm done with yeah, Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and close Twitter. Twitter. Uh, Good God. You know, what's his name? Trump uses Twitter like a 15-year-old girl. I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be part of the crowd. See how crowd you are. Is, crowd is a bunch of dorks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you ever take a good look at these people sometime? It makes you wonder why about nine out of ten of them never get out of bed in the morning to do anything. Uh, I don't I don't know. Why do they get out of bed in the morning? 
<laughs> because they have to. Oh. Um, because hmm. their boss told them to, or their wife, or their dog, or their kids, or the TV show. Well, I was going to say my boss told me to because Bubba came in and he said, if you don't want me pissing on the <laughs> furniture, <laughs> you better let me out. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm chewing up your hello time, too. I Wasting know you are. Wasting away on frivolous crap. Wasting away. So, hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody in the Dorkular land. And hi, Twitter. Hi, Fakey Book. Hi, uh, <laughs> Minds. Fakey Book. Old whores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of those over here on um oh hey, Estrella's off on a rant again. Uh, Estrella. Yay, Estrella's going nuts. Oh, and we have a Grob five one three. What the heck? Grob five one three. That must be a new one over here on Maybe maybe there's a new reason to get a new inoculation. Mm, hey, hey. Who knows? I got a let's bad case a of the grob. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's start a rumor about the new inoculation and see how long it takes people to go try to get one. <laughs> ah. Ah. Never mind. Never mind. Moving along. Okay, let's see. Hi, everybody over on that F on site. Thank you, Grimmy, for putting us over there and for tweeting us out and for all these other wonderful, 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 wonderful things. There it is. There it is. Now I can like it. Um, uh, yes, yeah. like it, like it for me too. Like it, like it a lot. Me like it long time. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. I don't know if my wife wants to know that. <laughs> I'm sure she'll hear about it eventually. Play back some other puppy. Oh, yeah. she will love it. Oh, uh, yes. She would love she, it a long time. <laughs> I, <laughs> broken fingers. Two more days. I don't think so. Ah, ah. Okay, now, yeah. over here in the RLM, which is where you need to be if you want to give us static. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You dirty dorks. Ooh. Over. Over. Ooh. Over. Over and under. Roger, over. Oh, hi. Wow. <laughs> Boy, this retirement shit's really working for you, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, it, oh, J. Dredd has no boyfriends for 2018. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> I know I read that wrong, but still, it's funny. Um, well, that's a surprise, isn't it? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> as Wait. wonderful a man as I imagine him to be, I figured the boys would be lining up for at least. No, not even. Never mind. Ah. Okay. Bury that bitch in the snow. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Never. Okay. That's a whole nother dick joke. Whole nother dick joke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now say something else. Something else. Yay! You did that good. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a big monster. And I cried, Mama, Mama. Mama, mama. Eh, but the mama didn't come. I had to fight the monster all by myself. Oh, man. Oh, I man. I know. She was like that. Okay. okay. So where are we again? Uh, we are at the dork table. If we uh, ever get our, our defecation was... compacted together. We've had worse starts than this. this yes, we okay. have. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The, the, okay. The crowd on the RLM is throwing the love around like the shit at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of monkeys. Uh, wait okay. till you see the size of my enormous cock. Oh. <laughs> somebody to write that too. It's you a really big else? chicken. Oh, it's look, it's 1111. Sweet. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's angelic numbers. Okay. Now, hi barman, the most splendiferous bot. In the whole wide world, because he tweets me everywhere. Barman's always tweeting me. Who, baby? I would, I would be happy to tweet you if you would only respond to me in a fashion that I can accept. Ew. The Ew. Negative. You'll, that you'll just that just made my butt pucker. Okay, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Grim Nerd. <laughs> wow, butt pucker and hey, Grim Nerd in one sentence. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. <laughs> Sorry, Grim. Just bad. I mean, not nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also see Moosey is here. Hi, Moosey. <laughs> And the lovely Kate is also in the house, as well as Asmo. He's not Mr. Asmodeus today. He's just Asmo. Hello, Asmo. Um, 
Ooh, somebody's using their plastic doll. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> mm. I cannot wait to penetrate the plastic doll. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? They're making my tumor bleed, Miss Mary. I'm going to have an aneurysm right here on the show. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to explode. <laughs> E-gad and gadzooks. Just... I'm wondering if maybe if I shut down a few things. <laughs> Kate says know, there's a two-minute lag going on, so woo, that's a oh, long lag. Uh, that's because you are a busy little bee. Me have you long lag. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, just, you're like one of those things that gets started and just has to go the distance until it's done. Yeah, pretty much. I married one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to it. It's, it's a little different, but hey. Yeah, well, that's good. That's all Never good. hear the word no around here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. It's a long story. Anyway, uh -huh. where were we? Chelsea uh, Doty! Uh, yeah, okay, because I'm still pushing buttons and playing with the volume. And Okay. Yeah, Chelsea Doty. Yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Hello, honey. Huh? Hi, Cycles. I also see a double dip and a Chloe going on in the chat. And looky there, we got me. I'm here. I'm Grams. here. Yeah, yeah. dorky Grams. Um, I also see free enslaved. Honey, this is a recording. It's okay. <laughs> and maybe one of these days I'll actually get the freaking recording to where the sound levels are remotely close to what they should be. The, the big money's against you. Oh, man. No, I checked out Lads Brooks, and the odds are against you. Some like bitch. One to a million or something. Ah. Mm. Mm. Payoff's great, but who's ever going to hit it? It's like a lottery. Uh, oh, it is? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, da -da, many, da -da. many fools and only so much money to go around. Ah. Ah, the Hannibal. I be Don C. Yeah, yeah, nice. that one too. Thank you. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> oh man, I only have five minutes left. Hi, I, I be Dante. Java, 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 Java. Doctor Two is in the house, and JJ's, JJ's, JJ's. JJ's. Yep. Juana Taco is also here, as well as Rain, the lovely Rain. We got rain yesterday, a little bit, but we did. We got some rain. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's what um, it was. RLM uh, Fluky right. is here, the Vanna White uh, of the RLM uh, Don't be getting uh, all freaking a horn uh, doggy uh, with the fluke, okay? <laughs> that's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Rob works. He did he fire up the bubbler and I missed it. I've been busy perusing YouTube. YouTube. He's been um, getting us all morning, Mr. Old Rob Works. Good deal. Good deal. He's the man with a plan. He knows what to do in a crisis. Mm, cool. Load the I gun and load another bowl. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And that trusty feller, he's, he's got a little bit of flotation sleep issues going oh, on. Oh, boy, does he. Wow. He woke up in a puddle, and it wasn't the good kind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Women of the world unite. Make him sleep on the wet spot tonight. Moving along. Um, moving, moving right along. <laughs> right, right. This way. Right this way. Hi, Beetle. 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 <laughs> I also see Cakes Dork. Hello, Hi, Mr. Cakes. Mental. What are you doing, Mr. Mental? Did you get lost and find your way to RLM? Yes, <laughs> I think he did. I think he did. Colfax 101 is also showing up. But he's away. Yes. That's that's Nenson Dubois. Hi, Yo, Dima. Dima, Dima, Dima. And Dorky Lynn. Hi, Dorky Lynn. And Dork Energy, I think that's you. I know. It's scary when there's Dork Energy. <laughs> oh, no. May the Dork hey, be with you. Me. Yeah. yeah <clears throat> Flumpy. Flumpy. I have so much, I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, J. Dread. Hansel. Yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> I also see Kozu as well. Hey, there's only one Meisterbrower in the house. Holy shit, how'd that happen? 
Damn. You're losing Woody. No, Woody's moving south, so he's in kind of like a transitional mental stage. Oh, I thought maybe you know, he was culling the cybernetic herd. No, I think he's calling his uh, his chat rooms and getting rid of shit he doesn't want anymore. Oh, there you go. Well, you know. I'm uh, cleaning out the closet, if you know what I mean, a little uh, busy. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Been doing that, actually, last few days. <laughs> boy, no. boy, 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 boy is here. Yeah. Um, Hi, Moy. Yeah. And Pox... <laughs> I know how you won't say that. Pox-a-pod, yeah. Yeah. Dirty. And Pond Sauce. Pop pa pa And Slim Jim Flynn is here. And I heard that Slim Jim was on the radio last night. Radio Slim Jim Flynn. Yeah. Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Hey, hey Teddy. Come here. I owe you for one uh, last week. Come here a minute. Yo, Teddy. <laughs> Hi, here Tilly Lynn. There's a Tilly Lynn in the room. She's very Tilly. And Phantom 2. Bada bing, bada boom. Still it's under 11 beat. minutes, 20 seconds. Or no, it's what is it? Yeah. Still under it. 20 minutes. Yeah, there you go. Because 11 minutes, 20 seconds. Ooh, wow. I don't think well, I could do that. You are the overachiever of overachievers. Yes, I am. Yeah, I say that to you, little missy. Little and you know what I, I've been doing? I've been writing down all my controversial thoughts on the white paper with the blue ink all week. Blue ink? And I, yeah, I got three thoughts. Wow. And I'm going to explain them to you all on the Dork Table program. Oh, Just hey. relax. Here we'll on this here it. program? Hell yeah. Where else was I going to do it? Standing on the roof? <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Yelling ain't going to go too far. Maybe the neighbors might shoot at me, but hey. That won't ah. stop me. <laughs> uh, never mind. Mm. Yes. Mm. How you liking this here? Uh, not working life. Uh, I'm working. <laughs> well, you know that's because people. Let me clue you on this one, little Missy, that you weren't prepared for. What's that? Is when people hear that you, the worker bee of the world, slave whatever, has retired from the worker bee slave whatever position. They find shit for you to come over to their fucking house to do because you don't work anymore. Yeah, you've got all this time. Sure, I do. Talk about irony. Yeah, yeah, I know. ironing board for that, brother. Okay. Yeah, my mother's wanting yeah. to hire me, and then I've got a couple other people that have been sending me text messages. You know, you said you like to garden. Would you come over and thin out my, you know, it's like... <laughs> Can I please get my garden put in first <laughs> before I tend to your issues? Yeah. Mm. It's similar to the law problem that we all share. Mm. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. And mm. That, seemed to st- that seemed to baffle you. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I'm being inundated with people saying, hey, seeing as how you now have all this time... <laughs> No, I don't have any uh, more time than I had before. It's just now I'm I'm supposedly more in control of it than someone else. Oh yeah, that's what you're in control of something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy, did you take the wacky pill or what? Mm-hmm. You control nothing. Uh huh. I do too. I control my bladder. Oh, well. Did you take a few minutes of your life and? look through the uh, interwebs and find anything interesting this week or has it been all work and no play no i have actually looked through the interwebs um most well i'd say half of my week has been spent with the grandchildren so Uh uh and then um i did do some surfing on the interwebs and i found a video on youtube that disappeared from youtube for a couple of years there and someone yeah, else you, you posted it earlier yeah someone I, I saw that someone else uploaded it so i i had to open my water fox because that's where i have my youtube downloader and yeah <laughs> i now have it on my computer so oh the trick of the trade you computer geeks or something i'll tell you you know, but I'll do things the old-fashioned way and just go, Hey, honey, I fucked it up again. Oh, well, see, you know, <laughs> and that, that works, too. And all my computer problems are solved. Yeah, because she's a computer yeah. geek. Doesn't hurt, you know. Yeah. Like, hey, I know how to do certain things, let me tell you. I just 
don't tell anybody what they are so they don't ask me to do them. <laughs> ah, oh, see? Yeah. You ever notice the more you brag about how good you are at something, the more people want you to do it as a favor for them? Yeah, yeah. Since you yeah. have so much free time. <laughs> and, and we're so close. Money's no object. You don't need any of that crappy shit. <laughs> yeah, well... Oh. My time ain't free. I got to spend time. So just, wow. yeah. Yeah. I love how how the monetary system has worked its insidious way into, you know, so many different aspects of our lives. I believe that's the legal system doing it. Oh. In the face. Yeah. But they're putting the blame on the money system. The legal system's behind all of our fucking problems. Well, let's just get rid of both of them then. You, you can't. Too many players. It's here to stay. We're stuck with it. So the answer was not so much in uh, what to do. It was how to do because law is in a different language. So like myself, if you go to a foreign land and you want to communicate with people, the thing you need to do is learn the language they're speaking. Ah. And if there's anything that's been made clear to us by every layer and level of government and media, it's that when you go into a, a, a legal fiction, you don't know what they're talking about. Mm. They're speaking. That's what the lawyer's for. Oh, okay? yeah. So you've, tr you've brought your translator. Here's your translator, your lawyer that's going to uh -huh. represent you. And you don't know what he's saying. So what? Ah. So you have to put your trust in this other person and hope they're not hanging you out to dry behind your back and you don't know it. So I investigated the thing a little deeper. And Miss Mary, you will be surprised and shocked at what I found. What did you found? Oh, remember when a couple of weeks ago I was harping at you about when they wrote the Constitution, the original format of the Constitution was written, the United States for America. Uh -huh. And you went, uh, oh, it shouldn't be that. You gave me all kinds of bullshit about it. it should be or. Well, it turns out I was correct, and now I have proof of my assumptions. Oh. Two years ago, this guy was making videos about it. I never saw it. Hmm. Just saw it the other freaking week. I tripped across his infinite wisdom and went, holy fuck. And this guy's in Hawaii. He's a working lawyer proving mm -hmm. his theory about grammar in the law. Ah. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, he's just getting up there and making a video about what he could do. He's talking about what he has done for 30 fucking years. And just like the cures to, to uh, cancer being withheld from us, the truth about law has been held from us too. Hmm. Okay. When Bill Clinton went up in front of the damn, uh, what, whatever court it was on TV, the Congress, uh huh. And and they question him, and he says, "Well, that depends on what your definition of is is." That sentence had everybody floored. They thought he'd lost his mind. To he was dodging the problems, and what he was doing was asking probably the only serious question he did ask about the proceeding at the time, because each word has a numerical value. Ah, uh, huh. oh, okay. Okay, now what I found out, I, it's hard to explain over a dork table, so I'm kind of cutting shit out here. But the uh, a legal text has ha has to read forward and backward per sentence the same way. Do what now? When you write a legal sentence, mm -hmm. it is supposed to read the same way forward as it does backward, meaning-wise. It's got to mean the same. And the words must consist of a numerical value. He's got a chart to explain the numerical value to you. And if it doesn't work out mathematically, it's not legal. But mm. like, like the cures to cancer and other things, this is just one more lie that we've had shoved uh, upon us. Year after year after year, for he's claiming goes back to like eighty five hundred years. Hmm. I'm still trying to. So is that where like, they have all those whereases and therefores and? Yeah, it's actually jibber jabber. What the courts? What this guy claims the courts have done, and he's challenged them. All right. Mm-hmm. 
they agree to talk in jibber jabber to avoid oh. to avoid speaking properly. They agree to it. So therefore, they've done that. If you sue them for it every 45 days, they'll cave in after a period of time. But you got to have deep pockets to do this. It's not a cheap man's game. But he's in Hawaii doing it. And what I saw from the link and what little limited knowledge I got of language in the first place, everything he said made sense enough to continue further investigation to see where it will, will ever go. Hmm. But his claim is that all the laws written to date have been written improperly and agreed to work with and that they in the legal department system have agreed to work this way. And we didn't know it. So we went along with it. And what he does is he takes the uh, Fannie Mae document and he breaks it down into uh, what he calls. Let me see what the right term is. and can quote this guy properly. It's called, I'm stalling because I'm slow on my computer. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's really got me excited because, you know, I don't believe half of what I see, and let alone half of what I hear. But it's called, the link is called The Straw Man Explained. Oh, yeah, you sent that to me. Right. Well, it's it's a really complicated concept, but it's broken down into a, a kind of a simple way to understand it for the layman like me. Oh. And he defines words like jury and what they mean legally, not what they mean that we've been told they mean, like there's no cure for cancer, but what it truly means and how it applies in law and how to beat these people at their own game. We're all being had through the legal system, every one of us. And it, I guess it would the beginning of it for a human being, one of us, is the... Uh, the birth certificate. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's all, come on. I've been doing all this shit for years and on the dork table, I don't usually bother talking to you about it because you don't usually seem to care much. But today, No, I do care about it. It's just, I'm, I'm... Well, you're not a detail guy like me. I and mean, I, I don't know. Not in the, this particular area it doesn't strike me as striking your hot spot, if you know what I mean. Sorry, honey. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't really, yeah. But... Yeah, but for some reason, I guess I am truly a dork, and you give me a math equation, and that's where I want to go. Oh. See, and I so, never really looked at it as numerical stuff, so. Exactly, because we're not taught, we're not the, taught the truth about anything. So, chances are this is the truth to me. I'm going to go with this guy. Oh, okay. And he's not alone. He's got, like, I don't know. 125,000 on uh, it's uh, on the uh, YouTube link that I found. Mm-hmm. Now he's been doing it for 30 years. Ah. Oh. Right? And he specifically picked Hawaii, I think. Or he's, he, I don't even look, he doesn't look it or sound it, but he's got a lot of uh, personal knowledge about the, the history of the islands, the law changes, how the U.S. did what they did to him. It's fascinating to me. Now, back to your retirement plan. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't expect to, to really get a lot said that's going to make a lot of sense. This is a really complicated topic. Uh -huh. But the, the bottom line of it is if you compare it to medicine, it's the same fucking thing. They tell you one thing and they're doing something else. If you can't believe that's possible, don't look. If you think your government wouldn't bend you over a table and stuff a sharp object in your butthole, go away now. You're in the wrong room. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's what I think. I think the governments are evil. All of them. Well, yeah. They are. Every fucking one of them. Anywhere you've got more than 100 people agreeing on something, don't do it. It's bad for you. See, and... and you're you're into this legal stuff like I am into the medical stuff because I keep looking and you know they everybody keeps saying we're gonna find a cure for <laughs> you cannot yeah. cure a symptom <laughs> you cannot cure a symptom cancer right. is a symptom uh, Alzheimer's yes. is a symptom all of there these diseases are symptoms of 
you know, an imbalance in your body and improper nutrition and not enough exercise and other kind of toxins from the environment. They're all symptoms. You don't cure symptoms, you just treat them. They practice on you because they, that's why they say they practice medicine, because they're still just practicing. Right. And you see, and that's what I mean, legally, what the lawyers and, and the politicians and the doctors, they're all grouped together. They're all in Congress running shit. So what they do is they write the law to fit the crime they're going to perform on us so that they're not responsible for what results we take. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, try explaining that one to a voter sometime. That ain't going anywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Why is it that the nature of the voter is to protect the monster that's trying to kill him? I do not understand that. I, it, gets, it makes my tumor bleed, Miss Mary. I'm telling you. Mm. Makes me want to go join the Russians against the USA. Ah. Well, I'm telling you, these is, Russians, they're not so bad. It's them that are Russians, them Ruskies. Well, okay, look, you know, take it down a step, right? And you put California against Nevada, and you have arguments about politics. It's the nature of politics. You're better than them, so this way should be done by everybody. Not what works, which w would be what is good for everybody, and we'll do that. That never comes into the equation. And I use the equation specifically. All these things that we do verbally are based on a numerical math equation system. Period. And if you don't know that, you're going to stutter through doing it wrong. And they're going to accept the wrong as a way of communication because that's in their game to do that and never correct your error. Milk, milk you for your stupidity and tell you when you come in, we're above you. You don't know anything. That's what the lawyer's for. Then mm. why go in at, at all? Why bother? I don't know. <clears throat> greed. Greed, greed, greed. Greed, greed, mm. greed, greed, greed. People like to sue each other for money. Well, yeah. And money is just, mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Me. Me get it. Mm, you get it. Mm, some people not get it so much. Yeah. Well, I'm. Mm, I'm just really, really tired of all this mm. money nonsense. Mm. Well, it's never going to end. So, what? What's your solution to dealing with it while you're in it, but not wanting to be in it? I am trying to move away from it as mm -hmm. much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, yeah, I, I mean, I know that from talking to you about it, but I thought maybe there was something more specific. Mm, I was hoping. Um, yeah, and, I, and Moose is saying, I have insurance. You can't own shit. That's the point. These legal fucking crooks have taken us so far that it's normal to be forced to purchase shit. Yeah. Forced by law to purchase a product or service. Fuck you. And you know why you're forced to do Because I remember when the state of Kansas made it mandatory for you to have um, minimum of liability insurance on your car. Uh -huh. and, and it was because people did not wish to be responsible for paying for the damages that they did. So uh -huh. the reason why insurance is a mandatory thing anymore as far as I'm concerned and why people go along with it in the first place mm -hmm. this whole scam of you just keep paying me and then when it comes down to when you need that money we'll decide if we want to pay you or not and oh by the way even mm -hmm. if you make a claim then we will tell you oh well <laughs> you know you've made too many claims and so we're gonna have to drop you and you're gonna have to get it from someone else and it's <clears> going to be twice as much <laughs> now it's a scam it is and all, a scam. And, and all these things are uh, dealt with in Admiralty Court. Yes. Okay. That's why I'm saying watch this link. The guy that claims to be able to explain the straw man goes into all those things. Home ownership, the title deed to your home. He explains how the bank never had title to your house. Yeah. 
Never did, never will. You may not ever know who has title to your house because these banker fucks sell it amongst each other bundled in with this and bundled in with that in ways that the normal guy doesn't ever do, so he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, it's a very convoluted shell game is what it is. But it's an agreed-upon game amongst the Admiralty Court. Yes. All right. And now, we go what, along with it because we've been told, oh, but this is how you're supposed to do these things. You know, this is that's how. That's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of it. There's and, more to it. And though. people go along with it because they don't want the poisonal responsibility of, number one, taking care of themselves, being responsible for what they put into their body. You know, and for how they treat their body. And I'm, you know, I got to say, I'm not the perfect one either. I will admit that right off the bat. But mm -hmm. what happens is, you know, if something were to, if, when, whatever, when something happens <laughs> to this, this meat suit that I'm currently occupying, yeah. I will deal with it then. And then we don't know. Everybody's got a story to tell. Uh, you know, it's like I've never been to Switzerland, so I'm going to tell you all about Switzerland because I had a dream. <laughs> and some idiot will listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> and, wow, he had a dream. And, yeah, that's what happened. dum diddy dum 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 diddy dum 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 hmm. And Anyway, so I don't know. I'm going to be bouncing around. I got all these uh, legal schmeagol things in my head, but – uh. There's an explanation to the uh, to the title deed that I never heard anybody else explain this way before. And then when I when I sat down and thought about it, I went, "Wow, me and Cirque have been right all along." Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now and now there's vis physical video fucking proof with explanation to back up all the crazy shit I've ever thought and, and said. It's all true. Ah, well, but that's not going to change my my sanity status in the public eye, I'm sure, because they're still looking at the hair and the clothes. Oh, what? Mm. Well, People no. judge by the way you look. Yeah. We've discussed yeah. it before. It's, it's a given. They always they have to. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and that's that I think is is a very primal, you know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. lizard yeah. brain kind of thing yeah you know you... yeah but they teach you the wrong signs that you're looking for your mind's looking for one thing but you, your consciousness is looking for something else yeah you know? yeah otherwise things like me and circle would never have happened true you true. know there's something to the magnetics there's something to freedom there's something to all the thoughts that we all have but most folk they don't want to explore they're comfortable in their hobbit hole yes now, I'm one of them. I'm comfortable in my hobbit hole, but I've got this vast knowledge about the game around me and in what's wrong with it and how it's rigged, and I can prove it, and I think 35 people have taken the time to look at it out of however many people have ever been exposed to the information they don't want to know. That's what I think. Mm. It's easier to look away than it is to go, hey... What do you mean a mathematical mathematical equation? You're sounding like a nut job. Well, let me see why. <laughs> yeah, well, Because that's what I thought. Hey, wait, this guy's trying to tell me that law is a matter of a mathematical equation. And I went, oh, bullshit. Let me see how you do this. And then for 20 minutes, he explains how it's done. And he shows you on a you know chalkboard, a uh, grease board. And I went, holy fuck. It does work out that way. Hmm. He proved to me Fannie Mae and uh, Freddie Mac are they're um, taking advantage of the home buyer. Yes. Through the home buyer's ignorance of true law. And it's not true. It's called correct is the proper. If you want to get all you know anal about it, mm -hmm. it goes to correct. Yeah. Woo. So all these slangs and all this jibber jabber and drivel we use because we heard other idiots use it is the game that we're in. The reality is so fucking technical and bizarre. You get, you think you're listening to an idiot like Bill Clinton. Yeah. Well, that depends on what you mean. What is the definition of is? Huh? 
Yeah, see, the rest okay. of us sit there and look at it, and we go, what the hell is this okay. freaking Arkansas moron talking about? But right. but, but the remember? Arkansas moron actually knows <laughs> the legal verbiage and it's knows like, the rules like of the game. It's computer coding. Mm -hmm. If you enter the wrong, Grimner's a coder, right, Grim? I believe he, he knows how to do some of that stuff. Anyway, yeah. one of these guys does. So if you enter the wrong code in your computer, it's not going to function. So if you enter the wrong words into a law, it's not going to function. It's going to function, but it's not going to function correctly. That's the message this guy gave me. You're just doing it wrong. You need to do the thing in the proper way to deal with it. Same thing as anything else. You know, you can sit in your in your living room and imagine you can fly a plane, but until you try it, you don't know if you can fly one or not. Well, and I don't want to. <laughs> okay. But, but I'm just saying, you know, I, okay, me, I will say me. I could sit here and imagine all day, but until I go and take flying lessons and learn all the gadgets and gizmos, what the fuck do I know? What I've heard other people say. I'm willing to admit that about life where other folk, no, I saw it with my own two eyes. No, you didn't. And I know you didn't because it doesn't exist. And you know what I'm talking about? The truth. Wow. Yeah, we live in a fucking lie-based existence. Everything is based on bullshit. Everything. And we are living proof and results of this bad shit that's gone on around us. And it goes back a long way. Long, 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 long. Okay, you're but, talking about all this fun stuff, and and you know me, I'm I you're scroll. You're reading about you're reading about squirrels on Facebook. I know all yes, about I you. Yes, I am. Will. Yes, you I am. Little vixen, you. Well, you know, in healthimpactnews.com, there is a Harvard immunologist that um, wrote a letter to the legislators, letting them know she has a Ph.D. in immunology. And she said that unvaccinated children pose zero risk to anyone. Yeah, I read that earlier in the week. What about it? You read it earlier? In, uh, well, it was just posted today on, on this site. So. Okay, on that site. But, I, yeah, I read it a couple of days ago. But legally, see, it's the, it's the structure of the document you present to the court that matters, not yes. your argument. Yeah, your argument people, doesn't mean doodly squat. Yeah, people have been watching too much television and they believe, you know, Perry Mason and all that shit was to distract us and to show us a pretend court that's not real. And then when you go to court and you see how it really goes, you what the fuck is all this? This is not this isn't like on TV. <laughs> yeah. Where's the good looking girl in a half skirt giving the damn judge a lesson on uh, pharmacology? Yeah. 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 Where's all the legal experts with all their fucking knowledge? Where's all the CSI people coming in with all their way cool gadgets and stuff? Oh, you know what my favorite part of TV is? What's that? Is in one sentence they're doing the, they just found the crime scene and in the next scene they've solved the crime. Ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. Not not 12 months to, you know, go through all the proper procedure. <laughs> and not, wait results not 12 and years. Yeah, not 12 years because they know who did it, but in order to do it <laughs> by the book. By the book. There you go. Well, there that's why Hillary is not in prison because Hillary has not broken the law yet. Okay. If the proper documents were filed in the proper format of law, the way it should be written, that would be a different story. But no, they're suing her with bullshit, so they're going, well, no, it's just bullshit. Let her go. Well, if they ever go to the court with a proper fucking structured uh, diagram uh, layout, yeah, ah, I'm getting flustered. It's so aggravating. Mm -hmm. Then... They would be forced after they could deny it a few times, but after a while they got to look. And who's got that kind of money to spend on a hobby like that? See, and that's that's where it comes down to is they, I really think somebody somewhere along the line convinced us that we have to have money. True. Yes. It's but yeah. True. And then uh, money court is, based is on yeah. commerce. And yeah. money is the only way that you can get your voice heard, or be represented, mm -hmm. or have things, or mm -hmm. you know any of that stuff. It all comes down to you have to have this money because we said so. Because well, 
you know. And I understand in the current mm. mindset that there is no freaking way that we could do away with money no. or the monetary no. system. Not with Too the current deep. mindset. Except on a local level. Yeah, on a local level, you could. You, you, could. It, you could do it where you live amongst people you know. But you're never going to do it with strangers. The anonymity brings out the crooks and the thieves and the killers, and you get fucked. Yeah, yeah. That you know, that's what this big global thing is for. So you never have to see the person that's fucking you in your ass. They're behind you. Mm-hmm. So whoever claims to have your back, be careful. <laughs> They're looking at property, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And and it strikes me that these bastards don't care if you're a guy or a girl or a knee or whatever the hell you went on last week about. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And that was so funny when the grandkids and I got to talking about that because and my granddaughter mm. brought it up, you know, cause apparently in their school, well, it's cool. it's yeah. it's quite the joke in their school, though. Um, well, you you're know, not in the, the big city right? or they're not in the big city. They're in a small community. Um, well, they're in a suburb, basically, of Loveland slash Fort Collins slash whatever oh, whatever ouch. okay yeah mm. so it's it's little <sighs> communities that are growing together is basically what it is because colorado's growing like crazy or gaining people like crazy i should say and and that's bad for uh human development yeah yeah i think that the bigger a society is the more it stifles your desire to be something just wants to press you out like another cookie so you'll do the next damn stupid cookie cutter job. Oh, God, they yeah. And yeah. while they I sure was... sure as fuck don't want you thinking for yourself. Oh, Good and, Lord. Oh, I know, because they'll suspend you from school for doing that kind of thing. But, um, you know, while I was out there, I noticed, you know, this whole time while I've been going out to visit the kids and stuff, I've noticed houses being built and all this other fun stuff. And there's, you know, they pointed out a $3 million home that was built up on a hill, <laughs> which was, mm -hmm. I looked at it and I went, mm, that better have some pretty damn fancy schmancy shit on the inside. Cause from what it looks like on the outside, don't look like it's worth no three mil, but it's got <laughs> a mountain view. Let me tell you. But, Let me ask you a question. Well, where I'm going with this just really fast. Well, or maybe Yo. not real fast no, go ahead. is that, um, each time I go out there, I see more little sub communities popping up, you know, the and the little cookie cutter yeah. houses and yeah. stuff. Well, this last time I had to take them to track practice, which meant I had to drive a different route. And criminy Christmas, the houses that are coming up now, I don't think they even have what here in in kansas you know for fire regs and stuff which is basically you know to keep the fire from jumping from one house to the next i don't think they even have that much room between the eaves of the houses and that's only a six foot alleyway mm -hmm. but they're putting these now you can you can pick of three different designs of homes but they're putting them to where if you're sitting in the bathroom in your home you can hear the guy farting in the next house Mm. That's how close they're putting them. It's like, geez, oh, Pete, who wants to live that close to somebody? I, I can't do apartment living. My daughter yeah. lived in apartments, and I can't do that. I can't explain it to you, in my opinion. Okay. Indoctrination. Mm-hmm. They teach this crap to the kids behind your backs in school. Oh, yeah. Okay, they... Uh, what I found out when I when I had a, I, I was married a second time before circle anyway um, When I had those kids to take care of I found out the truth about who owns the kids by challenging the school oh. And even though I was right I lost every time Because the school is your mama and papa They tell you you don't tell them shit and they were at, they would ask the kids they had questionnaires I found out about this years later but that would, do your parents argue? Do your parents smoke funny cigarettes? Do your parents drink alcohol? St little seven, eight-year-old kids are asking these things of to make a, an evaluation of your family life through the kid without meeting you at all. Mm. And this is back in 92 when I was at the height of it, just before it all ended. 
Ah. But, yeah, you find out the hard way that the state makes all the decisions and you either abide by their their rulings or they'll get rid of you like you're not even alive. And see, all of that has changed since I was in school. Right, exactly. I'm talking about 91, not yeah. 61. yeah. Lord, oh. it's changed since I was in school. Yeah, well, I wasn't in school in 61, so there. Okay, 60, I was there in 64, I think, 63 or 64, whatever year it was. Oh. Ah. Yeah, and then I was born in a September, so I started school, I was four years old. But by the time the school got into, you know, September, I was, October, I was a five. So I beat some kind of imaginary border they had made up to keep the years separated. That really fucked with them, too. Because mm. I was really little, the, always the youngest one in my class and always in the top five. Even if I didn't try. Because yeah. school was not a challenge. Well, some parts of school were a challenge for me. But basically what was really a challenge for me in school was freaking English. I absolutely hated English. I hated all of that proper punctuation and mm -hmm. grammar and all that mm -hmm. other fun shit. Yeah, and me too. Why do you think I'm so mesmerized by finding out the key to the doorway is understanding the fucking language they speak in? Yeah. Got nothing to do with me or you or judgments or right or wrong. It's, it's all about the language fitting together to make a certain thing. Mm-hmm. It's not about proof or evidence. The evidence that these people are talking about is the documents that are the ink is printed on. Yeah. And there's rules to uh, to put the paper together. Ah. Did you know you cannot use a staple in a legal document? Yeah, I did know that. Do you know why? No, I do not. That'll explain it if you watch the fucking video, you dork. Well, <laughs> see how That's you tricky. are. Damn cliffhanger. I, Shit. Yeah. Hey, you want to find out why uh, nobody probably really owns your home? Watch this video. You'll find out. It goes so far beyond all these arguments we've all had and seen people go, uh, you get thrown a bone through a link. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That, But the part they leave out at the end is that this is all based on fiction. It is not real. It's a story. Well, and it's and that's that's where that's where my mind has been lately is looking back at all of the different things that are built on you have you someone tells one lie and another person builds on that lie and then another person builds on that lie and next thing you know you got this big convoluted mess that we all know and don't love called government and authority and mm. okay <coughs> and that leads me to this assumption that if somebody in my family I'm John Q public mm -hmm. somebody in my family has just been told by the doctor they've got stage thousand five cancer uh -huh. and I'm sitting there in my depression and I'm looking at Where'd you go? Uh, I'm scrolling through YouTube to find this. I hit my oh. button. Anyway. Oh. Well, I found what it. I find, and what I find is a link that says there's a cure to cancer. Uh -huh. Now, this is what I think average Joe does. He goes on and finds his favorite music instead of opening the link. Because oh. his mind has been trained forever. There is no cure. No, there is no cure. Yes, there is. There is not a cure for cancer because cancer is a symptom. Okay, what what I'm saying is, uh, you're going to, see, this is like the legal thing. We take it so in depth and fucking verbatim that you can't get a point across to people because now they want to be all specific. Yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to tell you is, the things in front of us, cannabis was made illegal through bullshit stories and lies. Yeah. These facts have been proven. There are still people today that will not look at those facts because they believe the story. 
Ah. Yeah. See? Yeah. It, it would be as difficult for me to, to convince hands that there that weed is good would be like him convincing me that him taking his grandparents to church is good. No, I don't think so. That's a bad thing to do to people. But in his world, it's a good thing. In my world, not a good thing. Yeah. 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 See, so it's a matter of the belief system of the person listening and the system has fucking controlled everybody through one way or another by any means possible. And then you have us. This little itty bitty one in a thousand of these fucking sheep doesn't listen. And then you put us all together and then you what you got is. 40 fucking sheep that don't agree with each other about anything. Yeah. Oh, because hey. the, things that, the things that we agree on, we can't change them. True. But we've identified them. We, at least we know what they truly are. And that is better than where we started. Yes. Yes. But me, I'm a greedy prick and I want more. I want more. I want to fix something, Miss Mary. You know? I know, but you know, fixing things, fixing things that I, that you are not able to fix is, you have to you come know? to grips Wait with a that. Minute. How many how many assholes did it take to fuck it up? Maybe it's only going to take a few of us assholes to unfuck it up. At least I'm trying to unfuck it up. That's I'm not true. Add more fuck to the mess than there already is. I'm trying to get rid, get some fuck and throw it out, and get rid of it. Yeah. Expose it for the weak little cunt it truly is. It's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, people live in fear of the police and, and the state and the government and the this and the fuck that shit. Which yeah. is where this wonderful quote, well, Grimner added a quote, you will respect but. my authority from Eric Cartman. And then Miss uh -huh. Kate called up a quote that says, I have as much authority as the Pope. I just don't have as many people who believe it by George Carlin. And, True. you know, True. it's it's getting people to listen and to believe and quite and they won't <laughs> listen well, until they're yeah. ready. But you can you can put those seeds out there. You can leave the trail of breadcrumbs. <sighs> Okay, I, I don't like the idea of ready. I think it's more like um, capable of more. It's not like a decision you make. It's it's a it, it maybe it's a physical place or a mental place. You know what I mean? There's a, a measurable way to count for it, but it's not it's not up to you. It happens to you. Yes. And if you don't if you don't take advantage of the of the answer when it comes to you, you you stick with your story and you go fuck that. I don't want to hear that. You might have never get that opportunity back again. You might, but you might not. You don't know. That's what I mean. Life is kind of unpredictable in ways. Yes. And then other ways, you know what's going to happen. Some things you just know that's going to happen. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Oh, hey, Rob Works wants to be an unfucker too, and and Free and Slave wants to know, would you would you like to be an unfucker too? Be an unfucker. Be well, an unfucker. <laughs> okay. But we're, well, and p plus, we're taking the most disgusting word in the English language, and Google? we're applying it to the biggest problem that we have. Yes. And it's and we're making light of it. So the dark table's working because you were laughing, and you know I'm yeah. laughing in a little bit. Not not ha 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 yet, but I'll get there. Well, and you see, know? Carlin was wonderful for that. Carlin was amazing at pointing out the the ugly side and making no, you. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was bitter because his well, he was bitter because his wife died and he didn't give a fuck anymore. He no, wasn't trying to be funny. He was calling people fucking stupid to their face. Yes, he was. But people on stage, people took on it. Film. People took it because it was Carlin. It was who was delivering it and how it was delivered. No, it was the people that understood the joke laughing at the idiots that don't. But it was still who delivered it and how it was delivered. Uh, uh, that's all a matter of your per perspective, my dear. My, the way I see it, I just see it as his wife died and he after that he wasn't funny anymore. He was more on a crusade to fuck the system up. Hmm. 
Because sí. I remember him talking when he was 75, saying, ah, I should live another 25 years. I'm good health, blah, blah, blah. Then the next thing you know, he has a heart attack and dies. Mm -hmm. After after he goes to Congress and blows his wad all over everybody like he did. He was honest. He told it the way he saw it. He wasn't trying to make a point to anybody. He was just talking. That guy yeah. was just being himself. You remember that Keith Ledger character that did the Joker? Yeah, Heath Ledger, yeah. 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 He, Heath, okay, well, I'm bad with actors. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I found out the other day. Wow. I was so disappointed. He's the same actor that did that broke back mountain um, boy guy boy shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, you know, I believe in live and let live, but you know, I don't want two guys sitting in my living room doing the sloppy baloney all over the, <laughs> my furniture. <laughs> I don't even want to see him on the TV doing that shit, you know? So when I found out it was the same actor, something clicked on my head. And, and I thought, yeah, why my wife's calling me a conservative. Anyway, so I thought, wow, this guy wasn't acting about anything. He was just doing what he wanted at the time. And that's what got him killed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, all these uh, all these illnesses are all curable that everybody that these rich people die from. Oh, yeah. Well, how can they have all that fucking money and be be kept in the dark like sheep? Oh, you'll die of cancer. No, I want to. I, I got cannabis. I, t I know Tommy Chong. It's all cool. You never hear that? Yeah. You hear, I smoked with Willie Nelson and we ate some Cheetos and laughed at cartoons. Ooh, ooh, ooh be afraid. Oh. Yeah, be very ew. afraid. Ew. Ew. Well, I went off on that last week. <laughs> yes, I'm you just did. Here. I, pot needs a better front man than fucking Willie goddamn Nelson. Yes, it does. Yes, it and, does. Ozzy mumbles so bad now you can't even understand him, so he's out. <laughs> yeah, well, Ozzy wasn't just pot, though. Pot, Ozzy was, Ozzy is most definitely the poster child for better living through chemicals. <laughs> and, and alcohol. And alcohol, well. Uh, oh, yeah. he was a notorious drunk before the fucking, uh, uh, the band days. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was some really juicy shit written about that wackadoodle when he was drinking before he joined the band. Yep. And he carried it on into the band and got kicked out of the band, by the way. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, I do remember him getting, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, he was now. living He was living on Sunset Boulevard in some shitty fucking motel. And uh, what's her name? Sharon. She, she had management potential and she saw the, the future. She made him. Yes, she did. Yeah, without him, without her, there was no Ozzy. He he fucked himself out of everything. And the love of a good woman will bring you roses. It's just amazing how that works. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, unless, you're, of course, you're, you, you don't like women, like, you know, some of the guys on the RLM. Uh <laughs> I live by the three strike plan, son. I figure if you ain't struck out, you're still in the game. Oh, there you go. So I just kept my eyes peeled until something got my attention. Ah. And you know what? I think about relationships things. I think people don't, uh, they don't look around enough to find somebody that uh, suits their particular bolt. <laughs> bolt? Mm. Nut, bolt, you know, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm. okay, and Grimner just gave me a compliment. Uh, I He would nominate me as the weed spokesman. And, and I would say this to people. Stop all the fucking over-dramatizing and all these super strains. I crossed it with this and I crossed it with that bullshit. That's not weed. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it ain't what I do. What I do is it grows out of the ground and you pick it and you cure it and you burn it. Or you make tea or cookies or maybe a meatloaf for a or, pizza. Or butter or cocoa. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there there are so many ways to enjoy the weed. And not only that, but it's quite an attractive plant. Yeah, it is pretty. I mean, Can you are... imagine your front yard full of purple buds? Oh, uh, big no, green leaves, purple buds as my far front, as I can see. My front yard would not be full of purple buds because there's enough people out here that would come and snip them. Little sons of bitches. <laughs> uh, well, 
see, I, I remember rural areas in Oklahoma where I would hitchhike on the main roads and the, the guys that would give me rides would always have weed. Yeah. And yeah. well, other states too, but Nebraska was just like, it was like every freaking time I get off an of interstate and decide oh, I'm going to go check out this little town or maybe take a cut short, a shortcut between two interstates and whoever picked me up had pot. Cool. I don't understand that, but Nebraska was like, a, it was like the weed capital of the world. I, I, and I was American. I thought maybe, it, Hey, this is the best shit that I ever smoked. Wow. Of course, you know, your memories, your memories are as fond as you want them to be at any given moment. True. Yeah. You can take a good one and think about somebody else in it and go, well, that wasn't that great. <laughs> yeah. It depends on who you think of at the time of your memory. Or where you're at. Well, I usually think of other people. I'm not so selfish. I'm the only one there. <laughs> See, a lot of times when something triggers a memory, it's like, yeah. who am I with What that triggered that memory, and how was that memory triggered as to? Sometimes it smells or things that you see or things that you hear that you're not aware of. Mm -hmm. it's, be it's beyond your conscious level of understanding. True. And do you know how few people even know they have a conscious level of understanding they're not conscious of? <laughs> I know. It is kind of funny. But I guarantee you, walk to the grocery store from your house. What is it, a couple miles? Um, Ten miles. Ten? Okay, walk is out of the question on that one. But I was going to say, like a two, two to five mile walk, and what happens to me is I go on autopilot through the walk for periods of time where I'm not aware of what I'm doing outside of my mind is going and I'm probably daydreaming about something. And I'm not aware I'm looking at where I'm going. I blink back into it and go, holy shit, I'm walking down the sidewalk. I better pay attention. Thinking that because my mind was occupied with something else that I wasn't paying attention. Well, see, fit, consciously. Well, that's my interpretation of yeah. it, though. Yours would be different because you're you. Well, consciously, maybe you weren't paying attention, but mm -hmm. subconsciously. Mm -hmm. Right. So my mind is thinking about something and I'm so convinced that I'm thinking about that that I believe in for a brief moment that I'm not looking where I'm going holy shit what am I doing but I, yeah. I you know what I mean I know I have been but I'm not aware of that because my awareness that uh, level is taken away for just such a brief split moment that I think it lasted longer than it could have yeah you know, in that realm, a blink could be like what a minute feels like when you're paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, I believe in all these kind of strange things that, well, they, they sort out my reality so I can enjoy it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you can, you can choose to enjoy it or hate it. It's your choice. True. And I enjoy my, yeah. well, you know, I'm not going to be in a reality that I hate. Well, all right. I don't, like what you were saying about people asking you to do things because you have time now, not really understanding what you have is not time. Yeah. Uh, but to them, because you're not, you know, you're not having to go to that job and eh, they'll come over, have a cup of coffee and hey, can you help me with this is more than likely what they meant but yeah. how it comes across when you're in your fresh position and they're not real sure how to say it to you. I would assume the best. And I would go, I would say that, yeah, it was just people trying to hang out with you and get a little help with something that they don't feel good with. Yeah. Well, and that's, that was one of them, you know, that was pretty you're much a salesman, Mary though. You, when you talk, um, uh, remedy or, uh, flowers or shit like that about your garden and whatnot that's kind of it, it takes a certain kind of mind to to be interested in that in the first place mm -hmm. and people call me lazy but nah it's just like not my thing i'll do it but you got to explain and show or i i don't know what i'm fucking doing i'm not going to learn it i just follow you that that kind of uh, doing something ah. where you don't really care to retain the information so you might not use it for 10 years why bother you just do it and get it over with 
you do it and get it over with but then 10 years down the road when you wind up having to do it again it pops back up into the forefront and and it does it does so slowly but yeah I, I have got noticed my that wife close by it doesn't that's the whole <laughs> point of having a partnership well yeah we because a, it pops up for her a, faster yeah we made a pact I told her she doesn't have to remind me every six months to do something I'll get to it yeah <laughs> hmm. yeah six months a year what the fuck yeah it's just a clock you, what what's your hurry where are you going you got a date somewhere there little missy you got to be running across the world ah, ah, ah. uh no 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 dates no well tomorrow morning but the other than that uh, and that's with morning. the grandkids oh you're and gonna my be a grandkid junkie i am I am. So are are you, are you just messing those little kids up or what? Uh, yeah, actually, I've been having fun messing. And yeah, we did the whole I am me, you are you kind of thing. And yeah. How old are they both now? Uh, well, let's see. Two that you're talking about. Okay, the oldest ones. Um, well, let's see. I my granddaughter will be fourteen soon. Uh, and then I have a grandson that's twelve, and one that just turned ten. So okay, they're all they're all three above the. Uh, I think that human beings don't know the reality of living until they're about nine. They're still living fantasy land. Till you're about nine, you still dance around in circles, chase wind, do goofy shit. About mm-hmm. nine years old, you start going, "Hey, man, I got to be cool now. The other kids are gonna pick on me." And you know, my youngest grandson, I think he will probably always be one of those chasing the wind kind of, he's an old soul kind of kid. I mean, he is a kid, but he's every once in a while, he'll come up with stuff that just makes me go, damn, you mm-hmm. said that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, are are you the only one that says that about him or are there others? No, there's others that, Yeah. Okay, yeah. remember a couple months ago I was harping on whatever you nurture, you will get. Mm-hmm. It's not only it's not only for farming there, little missy. Some people are like that. I know. They need to have help bringing the real true them out. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they hide it through their whole life and go to work for a Ford Motor Company and build cars. Yeah. Mm, yay. Well, we're not all nurtured to develop. We're taught to be like everybody else so we can succeed good god it's a big competitive fucking dog eat dog world out there motherfucker get get your skin tough and go out there and fight 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 Mm -hmm. and i said hold on a minute i'm not done rolling yet that was the end of that story (laughs) Ah, uh, Uh, mm. i was introduced to the demon weed at a mighty young age miss mary i'm (laughs) not ashamed to tell you the doorway to green was open to me before I was old enough to know what I was. Never mind. Yeah, never but, mind. Moving but, yeah. along. But I don't I don't see it doing anything to me outside of proving that everybody else was full of shit. Well, mm, are they full of shit or mm-hmm. or are yeah. they just believe in their own? Nah, they're full of it. Mm. You see your way. I see. It. Thank you okay. very much. Well, we voted on this back at the academy. Oh. Hmm. Well, it's a matter, you know, it's a figure of speech like put myself in dog's shoes, you know. Mhm. Don't get all fucking, you know, Bill Clinton on me cuz uh, I know about how things are supposed to be done doesn't mean I'm going to do them that way. I'm still the I'm still the loose cannon in the fucking room, liable to say or do any goddamn thing I feel like at any given moment for no particular reason. Yeah. But yeah. on the good side, though, hey, I haven't for quite a while now. There is a good I've, side? Yeah. I, well, I'm in charge. Ah. Mm. Yep. Me, myself, and I came to terms, and we decided to do it my way. <laughs> okay. There you go. It so, was a group decision. We all voted, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, so a group grope kind of thing. Okay. okay, so if, all right, if the lunacy of that couldn't, you know, 
translate through is that's a fiction. Me, myself, and I. What are you, nuts? Of course you'd be nuts, me, myself. There's no such thing as me, myself, and I. It's no. the redundancy of redundance. Only a man would think a thing like that in the first place to say it. And only a woman would believe it because she wants a new coat. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You sexist. Ooh. Did he say new coat? Mm. Ooh. Hey, I know, I know the three words that make my baby smile. Mm. What? do you want hmm. hmm i used four words and i said the three words you weren't paying any attention like usual must be reading damn uh, facebook again no no <laughs> um my my uh, opera is being really 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 draggy today so i was oh okay checking right. my You're internet signal and all that other fun shit so ladies and gentlemen the dork table is having technical difficulties. Well, now we will have a five-minute interlude of music from Miss Mary singing the best of Van Halen. <laughs> Boy, that would have been a... Wow. <laughs> that would have been a disaster. Just add gin, she'll sing the... Devil made me do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, you are kind of the devil sometimes. Uh, hi, cowboy. I see you hey, joining in. Tech. Cool. We even got cowboy paying hey. I that's know. Unusual. Well, he's a helping kind of fella, and Saturdays he's usually busy doing shit. Yeah. So it's kind of cool to see him catch up. Yeah. But somebody would have to explain that the ten or twelve uh, people on RLM. Or not our own, but YouTube that actually opened the link. Ooh, <laughs> that is scary. Blows me away. Yeah, you know, me and Larry and uh, Vince, and I think it was Rob Works. I I had a crew. I had like four people, uh, and uh, the link hit like a hundred. I was like, wow, because it was about free energy. Wow. Unfortunately, oh crap, we're so bogged down in all this oil, we'll never get free any anything, and. and the the idea of the word free has been it's been bastardized by uh, government giveaways. Yeah, you know? and yeah. this this government, this American, then the English and the French and the German, all these fucking cunts. You know what? You know what Denmark did uh -uh. recently? No, I seen a big thing in in the internet's about it too. Well, the uh, the refugees from the third world that came here wanted money. Uh huh. So the Danish government granted them some money. And you know what they went and done this year? What? They cut that money in half. And those people said, nay unto you, Danish fuckers, pay us. And they said, no. Well, well then we'll leave. Where are you going to go? Finland said they'll take them. Oh. Yeah. Well, Finland can have them. That's not the point. I, it's all this overblown, exaggerated. Some, one city here, one city there, within the confines of a country, will have this big, massive problem, like London. Okay, It's not all of London. It's part of London that's having the problem. And fortunately for that mayor, it's not the part of London he lives in. <laughs> I lived oh. in London. I know where he lives. He don't go near that side of town, that poor bastard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no, he would. No, he would be a very unhappy man if he went down there. Or at least he'd have to have a, a lot of muscle to protect him, because it's not a pretty part of town anymore. Well, you know, and you have all of these people that go out there and they go to um, all of these anti-gun rallies and and gun registration or legislation bullshit, and they have all these armed guards around them. And it's like, no, seriously, honey, if you think that we need to be doing without it, why don't you lead by example? Is that the marketing scam of all mothers of marketing scams is a gun thing? Oh, man, let me tell you, they're, yeah, they I'll are. Bet they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it with, like, hairbrushes or maybe shoes, but. Guns, wow, they've even got both genders convinced in the, the time in life that we're at that the only thing protecting you from what happened to Waco is you don't have a weapon. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. See, and that's why I really think that, that the gun manufacturers and the ammunition manufacturers are just as much involved in this shit 
as anyone else because every time something like this happens, their sales go through the roof. Right. Well, that's the indoctrination of gun. That's mm-hmm. the point. It, it's gone so far beyond physical reality. They're playing with your mind in ways that you're not aware of. And because you don't know it, it's easier to fall for it. Yeah. And, oh, I know. Oh, well, I'm not there and all that horse shit people will say to me. But uh, I lived there and both with and without arms and nothing ever I don't know. Nothing ever came of any of it. I wasn't. I don't remember my neighbors attacking my house in, in hordes looking for food or anything. Yeah, I don't remember my neighbors it, doing that either. Not like it's going to happen anytime soon, but it yeah. could. Well, okay. Wait a minute here. I do have to. Uh, I do have to correct myself because I I had a time frame there when I still lived in town, where um, I planted my garden in the front yard. Actually, it made it. Uh, in a picture of it made it into the newspaper they were having this little thing of guess whose yard this is kind of whatever whatever and I yeah. had um, some uh, concrete blocks you know the the decorative concrete blocks all the way around it but my garden was out in the front yard and I had like cucumbers and cantaloupe and tomatoes and you know whatever and pretty much, you know, everybody in the neighborhood knew, okay, so long as you don't take the last one of something, help yourself. That's why I have it out there in the front. And I used to have these little guys that are not so little anymore uh, come walking down the street with a grocery sack. And they would go over into the cucumber patch and just pick a, a bag of cucumbers and then walk back home again because they absolutely loved cucumbers. And it took me couple of weeks to convince their mom that yeah you send them down with a grocery sack they can pick cucumbers and because that's that many less that I have to pick and do something with <laughs> but you know lazy it, woman I know I am a lazy woman well lazy. You know, lazy lazy that was also the time frame where I would meet my mother about halfway between where she lives and where I live and we would meet up and I would give her like three grocery sacks full of cucumbers and a week later I'd have to meet her again because she'd eaten them all. So, yeah. I know uh, how okay. to grow uh, cucumbers. Okay, Miss Cucumber. But mm-hmm. uh, Rob Works jumped on that Wake Hotel I was bringing back up to the forefront. And my mm-hmm. point isn't about whether you're fucking armed or not. doesn't matter at this point in life anymore. Because the police will come in out and out. They'll have you art out armed. No matter what you have, they have something better. Yeah. So violence will. Yeah. They they've made the gun uh, obsolete. And just because you have one doesn't mean that they're not going to murder you anyway. So, you know, and I just don't see what I'm saying is not that you should have it or you shouldn't have it. It's just that. The reality of life today is it doesn't matter if you have it or not. This is just a way to sell more guns to the public that doesn't know any better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and know, it's and because of a fear-based thing. Yeah. They're never going to take them. They're just going to threaten to so you'll buy more so that they can threaten to so you'll buy more. And then they'll just blow you out of your fucking neighborhood with a Tomahawk missile. You're fighting a monster that has no conscience. What are you thinking? I'm going to fight back. No, you're not. I haven't seen anybody fight back and get anything but dead yet. Mm. I defy you. Show me one fucking case of I fought the law back with their fucking own arms and I won. It ain't going to going to see it. Yeah. They'll drone you. They'll bomb you. They'll put a tank over your fucking house. They'll gas you. They'll do whatever whatever needs to be done. And there you are with your right to bear arms yeah. against that. Well, they've, they've made the argument obsolete, and the public doesn't seem to follow. It, it's like, where? what are you people thinking? Do you see what America does to foreign countries every fucking day of the year? Yeah. Every yeah. fucking day. And what's it going on? 20 solid years in the Middle East now what, since 2002. Well, they aren't they aren't our kind of free yet. 
<laughs> That's the point, Mary. Yeah. There is no such thing as free. It's if you're if you're under a color of law, you're being fucked by somebody. Mm. That's why I tell you they're all corrupt. They're all bullshit because they all run the same admiralty courts, and it's bullshit. And unless you have enough money to fight them, you can't fight them. The only way you can is to not engage in it. Yeah. Go. So stay out of trouble. Don't go out there fucking around with people blowing up houses and proving points and setting the, you know, setting life right and all that. Or just live and let live and do your thing and make a few things and have some fun and, and croak someday. That's pretty much my game and, plan. Right. But you tell me what. See, I'm just telling you what gets my attention about the negative is that there's so much of it. And so few people trying to tell them you're it's a it's a ghost. It's a real ghost. Yeah, sure. There are tanks and there are bombs, but it's not happening to you. Yeah, it's happening to them. There you go. It's still happening. Why? It's... And then they go, well, because we the taxpayers. But yeah, because they keep Americans and and English people and German people, whatever, in such a state of fucking fear mm -hmm. that they feel that it's necessary to go out and bomb people every fucking day of the year yeah. to save them. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who do you think they're killing? I mean, they're not killing the fucking politicians that are responsible for all this. They're killing the civilian population off and destroying the fucking uh, water supply in the hospitals. Yeah, they're it's destroying the, the infrastructure. And yeah, and then they lie about to the to the press lies about who does what to who, and it continues every day. Because the press is just a propaganda arm of the government. Right, and these idiots that still fucking read the goddamn newspapers and fucking support CNN and Fox. What's wrong with them? N they will not stop. I see it on RLM all the time. Will yeah. not end. Well. I try, I try to watch my sources of shit that I post. And I caught myself with a, a good link, but it was off of CBS News. And I went, holy fuck. Yeah. Well, and I had one the other day that was off of MSN. And it's like, oh, geez. But, you know, every once in a while, every once in a while, you find something, a little kernel that you kind of go, wow. Okay. You got to consider the source. But you also got to consider, you know, that mm, maybe, just maybe, but, mm, you know, to me, it's, it's, it's like the, um, the greatest hoaxes thing that I watched yesterday. Mm. And when they were uh, talking about Orson Welles and his War of the Worlds and, oh, yeah. and how it really yeah. wasn't as crazy as they were portraying it to be, and everybody pretty much picked it up and ran with it because the new york times said it and so well, well if it's in the wait, new wait, york wait, times wait. then it must be true so no, everybody no, no, ran no, with no, it no 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 he did this live on the air i know was, i know but yeah, the, no, the it wasn't news about wait let me tell you my version of it then okay when he did it live he came on and said this is a, a production of so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so. yes people came in late to that show on the air live uh -huh. And we're calling the radio station while it was happening, while the performance was on, mm -hmm. seeing aliens landing and shit. Their minds were just taken over. There were some that did that, but it wasn't nearly as many as what they tried to portray it to be. And that's basically because there was a media war going on, much like what's going on right now with the... Um, um, you know, alternative media and the corporate lay mass propaganda system media, you know, because oh, you, you had Break your yeah. you had your print media that had always been the go to for the news and for what was really happening. And then you had this new upstart, this radio shit coming in, you know, and that's oh, we can't have that. That's bad stuff, you know, kind of like um, what they do now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or like what they did with um, Tesla, you know, with the electricity. They were going out there and they were electrocuting dogs 
to show how dangerous his electricity was because they didn't want to give up their monopoly on their version of electricity. Which was the one that was doing the damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's called mis... Oh, yeah. Whenever I give somebody shit about Edison, I always get my ass handed to me. You don't know anything. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Westinghouse and Mr. Edison are the reason you pay a $500 a month electric bill today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tesla wanted to give us electricity as a gift. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy the electricity, my friends. But it's turned into this capitalist dog eat dog bury him in the backyard bullshit mm-hmm. so eh, eh, i don't care i don't give a shit anymore hey you know we got to initiate the dork for next week i try to remember this the dork word association challenge Ooh. what what that'll be is i'll write 10 random words and then i'll at one i'll say give you that word and then you'll say the first word that you want me to think came to your mind and respond. Oh, this could be fun. But, this could be scary. Yeah. But we'll call it the Dork Word Association Challenge. So it's cool. Mm, okay. A cool thing at the Dork table. It'll be a first. <laughs> like that doesn't happen already, hon. I mean, how many times do you say something and I go, wow, that made me think of... And it's like 20 bazillion light years away. But <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I tell you, I often sit around the house with Circle mm -hmm. and she was over there crocheting her, her on, you know, with her one arm. Mm -hmm. And she figured out a way to do this a couple of days ago. Yeah. So she's sitting there crocheting and out of the absolute fucking blue, I get I give her this question. I hear something on the TV. You know, we were watching, a, listening to a TV show anyway. So I hear a question on the TV. And the next thing I said to Circle was this. Cirque, how do blind people know they're gay? <laughs> you know, well, yesterday I, mean, I just saw a thing on um, the uh, on the interweb, so it must be true about. Um, you know, all of this gun confiscation talk and oh. all this other fun shit. But in Iowa, they're granting uh, gun permits to blind people. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, guns and, yeah, I, it just, I don't know what, where the idea came from. But then I thought about it. And then I said it out loud to you and, and went, wait, you know, this has got some weird questions attached to it. Yeah, it does. Just, I mean. I don't, I've known blind people in my life, mm -hmm. but it, the circumstances didn't warrant that kind of conversation. So I, I never was uh, in a position to ask somebody that couldn't see the answer to that question. So maybe I'll start a site, <laughs> you know, for blind people. Oh, and ask them at, <laughs> we're just gay blind people. <laughs> yeah. But not gay, blind, white people. No, we won't have any of those white people. But did you know the whites are <laughs> the whites are trying to join together <laughs> to protect their self against the darkies? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, my first thought was, well, you should have thought about that before you had them as slaves, you fucking moron. Yeah. Then reality <laughs> strikes me, though. I, I I have more imagination than the average bear. Yes, you do. And free and slaves said that their dogs tell them how um, when they when they're um, whether they're gay or not. And then Ouch. he also he also said, "Why don't blind people go skydiving? It scares the crap out of their dogs." <laughs> yeah, see, that's an old joke. Though. Yeah, but that. can uh, My father that was just a skydiver? I've heard all those jokes. That okay. gave uh, me a uh, mental uh, image where it's like. <laughs> It's drain. It's yeah, raining dog shit. <laughs> We're in a hell. The world is wow. coming to an end. It's raining dog shit. Yeah. Ooh, what a way to go, <laughs> splat. Okay, well, I don't know. It's I, a so dog I write, bird. I get these crazy questions that come to my mind. And, <clears throat> oh. Oh. Here we go. Here's another one of my favorite topics, right? Okay. 
because we started out with the law and we didn't really go anywhere with it. I was just rambling on about it. I know a guy that know I know of a guy that knows how to explain it in a way that makes sense. Yes. There you go. Look at the okay. link. Anyway, so I'm thinking here. <laughs> we we live amongst people we, we see every day, right? Uh huh. Okay. So that kind of crosses your neighbors off the list I'm going to make right now. Okay. Okay. We have politicians that travel around the globe on airplanes, willy-nilly, going to visit here and going to visit there. Mm-hmm. Well, we have businessmen traveling around the world, going here to there, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, all the regular normal folk, they just stay where they're at and they do their little travel to work back home, travel mm-hmm. to work back home. Yeah. Okay. So... All of a sudden, prostitution and human trafficking becomes a big matter of interest on the internet world. Mm-hmm. And I start to wonder why. What, why? What, what does average Joe care about who the politicians and the big businessmen they support financially are fucking? What business is it of yours? <laughs> well, it is their business if it's their child. You're getting your turn. Don't complain. (laughs) They bend you over every chance they get, just like they do to everybody. It's it's an everybody thing. It's an all or nothing, and there's not enough resistance. People don't want to say no. They will show the papers when they are told to show the papers. I show the papers when I have to show the papers. Yeah. That's that's what's wrong with us is we've all been conditioned to perform like trained fucking dogs and do what the guy with the shiny badge says. Well, because we, that's how we grew up. I mean, we don't really, you know, it's, it's, it's like I saw, uh, I saw self fucking responsibility. You got to depend. We're taught to be fucking helpless in life and depend on strangers to come and save the day. Okay, and see, I saw a video a couple years back of a mother that was talking um, about her children and how she hoped that they grew up to be jihadists. And initially, I was really, really upset by it, and I went, what the hell? And then I realized she doesn't know any different around, you know, the people around her because they've either been bombed to pieces uh, or what have you or you know she's saying stuff like that in order to you know keep from you know keep food coming to her table or what whatever her reasons are but she didn't know any different right? you know and until why would she? you know yeah why would she and Just so like the indoctrinated in the American United States well and it was like it I'm was like you, something it's the same thing we got schools I went to school well, I got an indoctrination. And it's like I was trying to explain to Hansel one time, and it just obviously oh, was oh, not oh. getting through to him. that you know, Because he Donald was Trump. saying that we, the white people here in the United States, are ever so much more intelligent than, say, aboriginal people in um, South America or in uh, Australia or whatever, because we have edge of Well, no. No, you know, those that's like telling a fish that it's stupid because it can't climb a tree. You know, the fish, if you are in its element, you're the stupid one. I saw that post. <laughs> yeah. And I so, agree with you on this. Hey, I got nothing to say. I want to argue about something, Miss Mary. Come on. Let's get, let's get with it. Put them up. Cross this line. Wait, uh-huh. wait, okay. Yeah. Uh, cross that line. Wait a minute. Cross this. Line. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. You win. Okay. <sighs> Did you know that government nurtures conflict and it repels peace? Oh yeah, that's its whole existence. So does that explain our combative nature towards one another in the internet world? Mm. <laughs> I don't look at you as combative, so I'm saying I I would appreciate your judgment call as a non-combative, because if you ever went off, boy, it would be one ugly fucking mess, so I'm glad you don't, but there's people like me that are willy-nilly with it, you know, play around and explore it, see where it goes. Don't give a shit. 
I think you take yours seriously. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's yeah, there's something very sensitive about you, little missy. You're like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you know, know last always, I checked, I am. Me off What's that? It is a girl that would be upset when I go, you act like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I met a few in my life that would get, hey, wait a minute. Well, hey, look, I was playing. You are a girl, you dummy. What did you think I was talking about? Yeah. Oh, and then have to be reminded because that's the kind of mind beatings that people go through in their life about things that have no value are given a value because of the wording used to pester you with it. It was like short never worked on me. You know, ah, I am short. Okay, big deal. What else you got? Yeah. I know that one. Pothead. Nah, that don't work. I'm a pothead. Okay, let's see. Two for two. Let's see if we can get that strike three. And here comes the pitch. And he says, faggot. Nope. Strike three. You're out. Next. You know, words have to be have a grip on you somehow mentally yeah, yeah. Or and you have to blow by and it's like uh, okay whatever you either have to have very little self-worth or you really have to value whomever is stating it self-worth hmm. i think i'm worth a four million dollar per pound well i identify Without as a millionaire or gold I identify as a millionaire, and right now, walking out in my yard, I got a million little blades of grass trying to stick up. <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's my point is all that fiat shit. So I make jokes about it for fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. Good. You know what? I used to believe in it though, when I was a younger fellow and didn't know my ass from my elbow. Yeah. But by the grace of Mort. A loaded motherfucker stopped me and said, hey, stupid, you know, you don't have to have that. I went, what? <laughs> yeah. Not to be redundant because I brought it up on the show many times. Like to brag about that little piece of history, man. I was one lucky boy. Couldn't happen to a nicer fella, if you ask me. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it is your poisonal opinion, so they go. A nicer person would not have listened. You know, it's like you were like your your thing about opportunity knocked, mm -hmm. and that's how I see, you you say grains as kernels or grow. Nah, fuck. People are beyond all that. Opportunity knocks on your head, and you go, yeah. What do you want? Or you keep going, finish what you're doing, or start something else. But just because it knocks doesn't mean you got to pay attention. There's no rules. True. There's a lot of times I don't answer the door when someone's knocking. Usually it's because there's a Jehovah Witness on the other side, and I'm really tired of telling them, no, I did not know I was in charge oh. of keeping track of Jesus today. Y'all didn't have tell no me. You no idea how much fun that Jehovah Witness is, can be. Because, you know, I'd let him in the house and then sit him down and go, have you ever heard about Satan? <laughs> and, then, you know, roll a joint while they're sitting there last, what, 10 seconds? I'd probably get to Satan and whip out the bag and they'd be gone. <laughs> my lord and savior adolf satan or whatever the fuck his name is i don't know but mm -hmm. just be wackier doodle than the wackadoodle and the wackadoodle will fucking leave you alone and i found this out through a policeman you want to know what i did what i found at the age of 14 a perfect way to get rid of the police when they was pestering me oh yeah how's that yeah I pestered him first. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go, what, well, I'd see him across the fucking mall or wherever the fuck I was, and I'd walk over to them to ask them what time it was and where this certain street was, and they'd go, G okay, go, go, go. See? Yeah. Because they're looking for the fucker that doesn't want to engage him back in that day. Yeah. Now, it's a little, see, they've learned how to, do things better. But there was a day where they were kind of like Furris more in the Guinness. But they were still pesky, you know, because they always wanted to know what you were doing. You go, well, shit, I'm, I'm, you're looking. You can't figure it out. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. I was a little smart ass, Nicole, when I was a child. Miss Mary used to say the damnedest things to the grown ups. They did not appreciate my sense of humor. <laughs> 
Imagine a that. Lot of, a lot of them still don't. The ones that still listen to it, you go, fuck, this guy, my brother. Oh, he, no, the, you'll never change. I hope not. I like me just the way I am. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. It's wonderful that, for you. Well, exactly. See, there's <laughs> life. It's your life. What the fuck? How do you balance or weigh your life based on somebody else's life? What kind of crazy shit is that? Please. You're not buying shoes here, little missy. It's your life. Yeah. Yeah. Although you do have to try things on from time to time. Do you know what the bad, the baddest part about being an American is? Other people think of, that you're an American. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cause there's no, there's still an appreciative side to that. Mm, okay. You know, because people that like the young kids that are here, that see television and da 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 da, whatever life they're growing up in, but they're still honest and they're in, in the wor- workforce trying to to play the game and get somewhere. That kind of shit. Yeah. They, they've learned English. Learn, learning that language gives you an extra, uh, an extra addition to your arsenal. So, it's not a bad thing for them to do. But learning Danish, if you live in Nebraska, is kind of per- pointless. True, unless right, you're planning right. on going to Denmark. But English is like the fourth most spoken language on the planet, so it, it's way ahead of Danish. So if you have plans on going out of Denmark. English is a it's a good hobby to pick up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I think. Well, if I was twenty or thirty years younger, I would have sure as fuck gone out of my way to learn the language here. Yeah. Yeah, but eh, my age and my interests are so limited with socially. I don't care. I don't spend enough time with people out there that it matters. You know. And it's still novel enough that Cirque's closer friends that that. Some of them don't really like to speak English. <laughs> they're relatives and friends, but they come by anyway. Yeah. But engaging in conversation for what? They came to see their their relative. You know, yeah. I'm just a uh, a decoration any damn way. Yeah, they came to see Soikel. You're just right. But that's the kind of family that I I married a girl in that kind of a tight knit family that. They, I could have been anybody. It doesn't matter who I am. Yeah, you're just that's, a Lewish in the room. <laughs> yeah, well, that, but that's what I didn't ever get out of any previous relationship is the other side of it always had things to say that didn't have. It was none of their fucking business. What do you mind your business? <laughs> well, yeah. And, and here I married into this thing going, holy fuck, what I get into. And these people, as a matter of nature, mind their fucking business. It's. It's Mary, I'm going to cry. It's beautiful. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so it's just one of those unexpected parts of life that when you get it, you don't even, wow, you're just glad you got it. Don't care why or who or how or none of that matters. It's just that it's happening and try not to fuck it up. Yeah. And I've come to, remember how I told you, communication for how many years now on the radio too? Communication is our problem. And showing how the law works is a, that's a great way to explain that. <laughs> Cause we're not all speaking in the same language. No, we aren't. No, we've got this uh, medicine is in this language and laws in that language. And here we are speaking bastardized English. And some people don't even speak that <laughs> it's a big mess. And legally you're supposed to be on the same playing field in a language that you each understand together so there's never been a contract ever because no. they're doing it in jibber jabber with, with the consent of let's do it in jibber jabber to throw everybody else the fuck off yeah. they won't know to challenge us we'll just say whatever we fucking want and they've been doing it since time started yes mm. well now there's proof Okay, whoop de fucking do because probably nobody's going to do anything with it. But it's a, at least it's a stepping stone for the younger ones after us. Yeah. Well, because this shit is life changing. You know, it's not about freedom and guns and rights and lefts and uh, pussy machines. It's about you're a human life 
platform on planet Earth and nobody fucking owns you. It's an illusion. You've been tricked and conned and deceived to go along with something that if you knew the truth about it, you wouldn't do it. And yet I think there's enough of the herd, if you will, <laughs> that would go along with it just because it's easier. They're comfortable mm -hmm. where they're yeah. at. Yeah, well, a few of them straight into the RLM. That's life. Yeah. And the ones that don't, man, they get the biggest ass. Rob works, gets his ass handed to him all the fucking time. Why? Because he doesn't want to conform. And if you tell other people you don't want to conform, it starts a problem right there. Yeah. I don't want it's it's, ins it's insulting on some fucking level of how we interpret ideas and words so i mean we're taught all wrong the wrong value systems the wrong words to use the wrong meanings of words and like chanting or praying gives the believer belief and it works for them because there's something to wavelength and resonance that we're not taught to ever pursue so we just spend a whole lifetime repeating the same stupid drivel we learned in school 50 years ago that wasn't true then yeah. Because I'm pretty fucking sure Mr. Columbus never set foot on America. And if and if he did, it wasn't America yet. So where'd he go? I read he went down to the West Indies and had him some pussy and gold. Yeah, and did spread some murder. diseases. Yeah, did a little murdering just for kicks and, you know, have a smile on his face on his way back. And that's why I said that, uh, when I wrote my story about Columbus, it was about he was running from the king of Spain to get away because he was fucking his wife. <laughs> and uh, the king was getting on to that. So she said, Chris, Chris, take these guys and go over there somewhere. Save yeah. yourself. Yeah, go prove that the world is round. <laughs> well, right. Oh, there you go. So instead of falling off the edge of the world or whatever, he just manages to plunder some foreign land and come back richer than he was when he left you can't fight money money's gonna money's gonna go hey bitch how you doing now you fight money with poverty and you lose every time <laughs> yeah oh it's such a trap well they got us all con you got to earn a living like i said last week if you don't have physical means of support we'll put you in jail <laughs> Uh, what? Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, Grimner, you weren't even around. I mean, I've sometimes, I, and I'm speaking more like when you're not even up yet, Grim. Uh, certain people are just really, I don't know, rub, they just don't seem to get what Rob's saying. I don't, I don't mean he comes out on the bottom of it. I just mean that. Uh, for something as obvious as what your principles are here that you carry and share with us other folk, I would say that uh, Rob would just be an average Joe instead of somebody that stands out for slap him around when he says stuff. Yeah. 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 Because when you talk about being free of the system, the sheep are going to come out and call you names, and they do it on the RLM. Well, it's so much easier to slander and slur than it is to actually rebut with facts. Because I do it too. It, it's see, mm -hmm. what we've gone. I it's in our it's on our bad handling. We've been taught wrong. Me too. Probably me more. I'm older than some of you folk out there in Radio Land. Uh, age really doesn't have. It's it's. I think it really is okay, a lot experience. to do with... Okay, yeah. age maybe not, but if you've been doing something for 58 fucking solid years and somebody else has been doing it for two months, you're bound to be better at it than they are. Hopefully. Unless okay. they figure right, out a better way of doing it. Uh, sweetheart, huh? to do what I do? No, there ain't... No. There's only well, I the wasn't way that being person, specific. Well, I am. There's only your way is the only way for you it doesn't work for anybody else it's not designed to but we're kind into believing it does and that's big a big social problem well it, it i did it on, my way <laughs> right well it's you are supposed to do it your way and i'm supposed to do it my way and we're supposed to allow the other guy the room to do it not piss and moan over how you did it just eh, okay there you go it's called um, getting along 
Yeah. Yeah. I've never called you stupid. Well, I've that, called you crazier than a March butt nugget, but I've never <laughs> called you stupid. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I can be crazier than a March butt but, nugget. But that's but, playing around, screw, having fun. Yeah. But man, you, you's a smart little cookie, Miss Mary. Very <laughs> smart lady. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, smart lady. Oh, I thought I did the show with something nice about you for a change. Yeah. <laughs> Why, thank you. I feel so much better now. Feel free to take advantage of my sale on Semitic to all you anti-Semitics out there in RLM. 25% off all Semitic while supplies last. Ah. All Semitics, huh? Cool. No, it's, it's singular. Semitic. Oh. I'm selling it. Oh. If you're anti-Semitic... I'll sell you some Semitic so you can balance things out. I I want some medic. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, I it is. I swear, we're so scammed. We're just a bunch of we're just a bunch of goldfish in a ball going, bloop 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 bloop. Oh Lord, my <laughs> grandkids have a goldfish that's so freaking fat it has a hard time getting off the bottom of the. Uh, goldfish oh, bowl. <laughs> They're trying to make it explode. <laughs> to... No, wow, it, it keeps swallowing the rocks on the bottom of the. Oh, it's, oh, it's a re re okay. goldfish. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Dork table, huh? Yeah, Woo. go figure. Oh, well. Next yeah. week, we're going to play. I hope you remind me. So we'll play. Uh, Wide Association. The Dork Word Association Challenge. Yay! Yay! Oh, well. In any case, you know what? We're out of time. So y'all need to come back later because I'm sure there's got all kind of stuff going on. And I'll bet you if we don't have anything going on that you're interested in, check out JJ's on webcom.co.uk because he's playing tunage all the time. And uh, tomorrow at noon Eastern Time, Grimner. With the blues and a rousing game of trivia, I'm sure, in the RLM chat. And then directly following Grim will be Hal Anthony, who's going to take your ass behind the woodshed and open up a can of whoop-ass on yo. Then, tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled. So, yeah, lots of stuff going on yet this weekend. So, be sure to come back and listen often. Because you never know, we might actually say something intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, sucker! <laughs>